come to like sort of cool his jets until he gets the losers and then go kind of turbo mode. Yep, we've seen that. So they're going to go right in. We got uh, Thunders versus DVD. Yeah. And looks like uh, it's a butt check. Hard to tell. Nope. nope. That's, that's it. That's the game. That's the game. Okay. So DVD has never beaten Thunders Reign, but um, he got relatively close uh, at Blackstone, I believe it was. Yeah. I think he did pretty good at, um, at LTC a couple years back, too. Um, but there has been sets that Thunders has just rocked him. Yeah. 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 It's a hard matchup because, you know, you really can't approach this character in a way without eating a lot of damage. Yeah, especially and, as Toon Link, because um, it's so easy to CC his moves, right? Yep. His his uh, sword just doesn't uh, do much knockback, kind of like uh, the last sword character we just saw, Ike. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's, it's not the same. You kind of need the, that grab to open him up, which he just got right there. Mm -hmm. um, but it's hard to get grabbed with Toon Link because each other. Right. So. But if he plus his grab is a little, little safer than it was before, it's got some frames shaved off. Good to know. So that's kind of nice. Uh, maybe that'll make a difference. There's uh, a <laughs> Thunders come, came down with that uh, clap. The clap! <laughs> the new down beat, which I love. It's really good because it mixes up your landing. Yeah, it's a nice option to have. Quality of life buff for DK. Yeah. After uh, some nerfs that he received. He also has a faster grab, standing grab, wow. by one frame. So that's also going to help him out in that situation where we're talking about CC grab. Um, He's gonna have like one frame more to do it. Oh, he just runs up, shields and grabs. That's like a huge pickup for him. Classic DK getting his grab buff. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, he got his, he got other re the other things. Basically, it was like a normalization of the cast where like people who had like slow eight frames, nine frame grabs gotcha. went to like uh, seven in a lot of cases, okay. or at least got a frame shaped off so that they were closer to seven or eight. Um, but his punch is weaker, which we saw. There were some cases where he hit a punch and it looked like it would have been a lot more dangerous. But yeah, it's not yeah, so much anymore. Three yeah. So, um, I do gotta say, I've noticed Thunder's Reign is so good on this stage. Yeah, I'm always surprised I haven't seen him lose on this stage yet today. I'm always surprised that people take him here. Because he's got a lot of room to play around with the platforms and to set up the right kill setup for himself. Yep. Whether it's off the top or off the side. It's like so much horizontal room and he just comes flying at you. Yeah. And also, yeah, horizontal room is really nice for, for DK. He lives forever. Yeah. You know, if you're going to, like, you can rinse and repeat DK mm -hmm. if you take away all his resources. Uh, but you're going to have to run the whole set of the stage yeah. in this place. So that's kind of a, kind of hard. That's another change for a team like those. His down, down throw is not um, as easy to confirm off. I haven't tested it, obviously, yet, because it's kind of a new game. Yeah, but DK is, um, he's not, like, a super fast faller, so it should work on him at higher percents. Right. I don't know if that was on purpose, but he's going to get punished for that F smash. Yep, up out of shield. So good for, for this character. They didn't nerf DK's up a little bit, but I believe it's more... Um, it's the aerial it's, one. Yeah, when it's coming down from the air, like the end lag. Right. And that's a that's classic. A, yeah. Cargo up throw. It's and you delay there. it, kind of, because the character like rises for a little bit, and yeah. then you hit it at the tip. I've been playing him a bit more, so I'm getting used to his his timing. So we have Gallows. What is your what do you call your uh, your your DK? That was the Lightning Rain. Lightning Rain. That's right. The White Lightning. <laughs> white Lightning is a Zelda play. <laughs> oh right, right. White Lightning Rain. I don't know. I thought you called it uh, White Lightning once or twice, but no, I guess no. I'm wrong. Thinking of the Zelda player, or are you just racist? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's both. Maybe One it's both. Um, all right, so we're still going with space, you know, which I think the yeah. blast zones are going to help a little bit. He does have a high platform now, at least like before the transformation, <laughs> because um, tell me I'm about sure why Tink wants a high platform. DVD wants a high platform here because he could rain bombs down, and he's got somewhere to escape uh, when he gets hit. Right, like there, the top platform was gone, and he had nowhere to escape. <laughs> right, but. Um, it's like a safe place for Toon Link to go run away to. And then uh, he has all the advantage when he's on top platforms because he can throw things down. Right. He gets some space to breathe. And he's amazing on platforms. We've always talked about DVD's ability to flip around. Yeah, DVD's got so. amazing platform movement. That was an amazing low, low percent kill. That was super important. He's yeah. going to have to find those on this character. Another Great pivot grab. That's where he's gotten some pretty good grabs. Oh, just let him run into him. Catching the landings and wow, yeah, that's a juggle. Mm -hmm. DVD is so good at comboing people off of the platform and then continuing it. So I've counted three grabs where he read Thunder's landing, this, this stock, and he might end it as a result. Mm -hmm. DVD using a lot of dash attack today, I noticed. And he uh, utilized it a lot, very well on Drug Preach you earlier. I, I love the way he's zoning him. He, oh my god, it's, he's 
got such a read on him. Yeah, including grabs. a few pivot grabs. It's kind of interesting. But look at the challenge. Yeah, that was a great stock. Super great stock. But look at the challenge. He had to win neutral or get a read on his landing like four or five times. All right. He's still getting like a... Keeping him in stagger basically between two stocks. He Taking his time him. with these combos. I kind of like that. Like he finishes his combo and doesn't, doesn't overexert himself. Just keeps his stage control and uh, it ended up working out in another stock for him. Right. Great game so far by DVD. Playing really well. And it's uh, actually, we were talking about DVD being good on platforms, but actually Thunders is traditionally somebody who really likes to hunt Yeah, platforms great on too. platforms, but um, DK doesn't love a top platform right. like Toon Link does. Absolutely, absolutely. So right now, this platform layup better for Thunders yep. and actually resulted in a stock. This is that uh, PM VR uh, modified stage that has slightly different platforms. Uh, than the old ones. Yeah, the old Delfinos uh, used to go like diagonal. It was a little wonky. Yeah, there was times where it was a staircase. Yeah. Okay, this. Okay, all right, all right. He doesn't get much out of it. It's like at the low percentage, DK can't, needs a like kind of a read to, to reset it if he's like get, grabbing a zero. And then at this Ooh. percentage, and that was kill such you. a good way to finish the stock too. Nared him and noticed that the eye was like slightly in, so he could get that forward air spike. Yeah, you drift he back with it a little bit. Yeah, a lot of players wouldn't um, think to go for the forward air spike there to really end the stock. But Thomas brought it. Thunder's really brought it back. And DVD cannot get hungry for the grabs. He did have a lot of success doing that, but at this point, it's like Thunder's knows that that's what was getting him a lead. Yeah. And his grabs are so much more dangerous than DVD, so. Yeah, that's the thing. Players that are this good, they, of course, will, uh, like, adapt and catch on to what's making them uh, get grabbed or catch on to what their opponent and is And play around the weakness so. of Toon Link, for instance. Mm -hmm. He did okay. get a grab there. Yep, he does. But it goes nowhere. Yeah, can't kill. Kind of was expecting a down air, but... Great pickup. Yep. Boomerang has just enough knockback to confirm off that. Right. At higher percents. The higher percent, uh, it's more... A lot of projectiles in the game do stuff like that, uh, where at lower percents, it's not going to do... Uh, you're not going to be able to confirm off it, but knockback growth kind of helps that. Right. So right. Boomerang hits arrows. Yep. And like people are more antsy to kind of land when they're at a higher percentage because they can use, uh, you know, CC a little bit and like not worry about just dying off the top. That's true. So like people kind of rush down sometimes. Yeah. And one of the things you need to do with DK is is keep him in the air. You gotta keep him in the air because his ground game is. So good. I mean, he's, he's crazy everywhere, but One, definitely go. his stagger position is in the air. Run up grab right off the bat by DVD. Yeah, I think. I just don't know where these grabs are coming from, and I kind of love it. I'm like really impressed by his grab. Yeah. Also, his Zares. Use of Zares has been really impressive as well. Also, threatening the shield with jumps, jabs, forcing options. Out yeah, of the shield. You, you could see uh, Thunder miss a few shield grabs because of that. Very good spacing by DVD. And we're not seeing that that perfect punish game that Thunder's really, you know, for whatever strengths uh, DK has. Thunder's made optimize it by being so amazing at the punish game, mm -hmm. crouch cancel game, and you know, kind of like keeping it simple but knowing the reads. Right. Um, so he really needs that, like, to, to you know, take every stop he can off of every every uh, game. Because there have been times yeah. where people have done really well against him, but he just destroyed them on a on a punish. Yeah, that's the thing. That's why, like, some you've seen DVD last game up three stocks to one, but. Thomas brought it back so quickly right. because how right. uh, devastating Thunder's punish is. Wow, that bomb was actually really helpful. I was like, why is he throwing those bombs yet? But it actually yeah, broke he, for him. DVD always likes covering himself with bombs when he can. Right. I saw earlier uh, in the tournament, he threw a bomb at Tech Boy Shield and it bounced off Nana Shield and he forward he fully charged a forward smash because he knew that the bomb covered him. Right. That's cool. I don't I, I haven't seen him do that in a while. Yeah. There's the fourth te force tether get up that happens when you grab a ledge mm -hmm. tempered tether character. And DK has some really good punishes against against tether jumps. Right. 
Oh, what? That was so risky. He went for a, a, a down air right off. But it kept him in the air without a jump, so it was smart. Nice. Yeah, very good sequence from DVD because he just didn't want Thunders to come uh, down and land on the stage just to get his jump back. So that was his main focus there. Certainly, um, DK has a slightly less uh, oppressive recovery than 3.6. Um, I don't know if like DVD is actively playing around that or just you know kind of intuiting it, but it's kind of interesting to see the way in which he's getting a lot out of recovery on on, on him. He's not as dangerous. He's not he can't, doesn't rack all all that damage when he up these. Great string that whole uh, sequence there from DVD. Yeah, DVD's got solid stage control, but DK so fast. Tom is great at using that DK speed right off the platform. Good movement to get that back air. Confirm. Oh wow, DVD brings it right back. We got a last stock situation. Will the slice <laughs> prevail or will the kicks take over? <laughs> You think it's kicks? It's not like the. Well, the back is kicks for sure. Yeah, there's a lot of kicks there. It could be the Kimbo slice. Pretty good. <laughs> um, the Ronda Rusi. <laughs> um, he's actually let him get the punch. I, don't, I think he like would prefer to keep stage control, but does have him out. Still an advantage for sure. Yeah, I but do DK think... does not care. I think. Um, DVD has been showing that he has been keeping stage control better than... Oh, that might be a... The whiff grab was everything right there. The, the back click, back click. The moment he, like, fi fi sniffs out a whiff grab, he has a, has a huge punish. Mm -hmm. Like, even just the right spot dodge will do a lot for him. Like, how many players really in PM can you say will punish you to death every time you whiff a grab, you know? Right. That's why, like, He's we so take scary. it for granted, but... It's pretty impressive that he just does that every time. Right. One mistake and you're just dead. And it's not like it's like, um, it's not, I think people, there's a lot of elements of DK's punish game that are like straightforward, but there's a lot of which you have to know where the opponent is going to DI and get the read on it so that you can kill them earlier. Yeah. So they don't sure. get out of kill percentage. Um, and he does that really often. Every time he's... A big part of that is like when he's going for the forward air spike because he knows they're going to DI in. Right. Um, that ends the stock right away instead of um, maybe going for a safer option like a Nair right. there, which uh, DVD might not die. From. Right. Um... And those mid-high percentages, he tends to go for that, that much air, uh, aerial spike a lot in order, like at 70, 80. There's a banger of the song, by the way. I love this song. It's a good remix for uh, we don't a great song in Donkey Kong Country. Donkey too. Kong stages on the stage list. Yeah, so so far this game, I've been impressed with uh, Thunder's platform movement on sound. It's been good. Yeah, it's kind of a... For big characters, it can be kind of, kind of a challenge on the stage. Because they get caught between stuff, they can get. I mean, this won't happen so much with uh, with Tink, but I love uh, the waiting there uh, in uh, Knockdown. Yeah, yeah. By DVD, because Thunders was waiting for an option. Right. And DVD just waited for the platform to come up to give him another option, actually, and yeah. got a stock off of it. He definitely okay. would have been dead if he uh, had hadn't um, stayed down on his Knockdown. My guy DVD is mad pig. He is mad pig. Yes. <laughs> but he's not lame. He's not no, whack to watch. Right, right, right. I really enjoy watching him. The foot? Yeah, it's an interesting thing to just shield up there on that platform and try to beta, beta attack on the shield. It actually did help him. And again, these these kick grabs. Yeah, dude, he's doing a great job of that. Just that. I do want to see Thunders like respond to it with like, spot dodges. Ooh, with grab. Is it going to do the kill again? Okay. Yeah, DVD was just so scared, but he did make it back. Soon like is able to get that bomb jump, which is uh Yeah, it's pretty dope that uh you know, he's got the uh, the presence of mind to do that that quickly. Right. So that's pretty tough, like it, it is super it's tough. technical. He saved the, his life. Yeah. The problem with the down B is the almost flipped him. The problem with the down B is that you could fastball. So you're already at the bottom. Yeah. You have to down B. You got to make sure not to pass ball. Yeah. You have to be very precise there. Oh, what the hell? He's so yeah, mean. He, didn't he got die. hit by both. So nice. He hit him twice. <laughs> and that because he hit him twice, he didn't kill him. But luckily for him, he ends up. Wow. Yeah, that time he died away. See what I mean about the mid percentages? He almost always tries to go for it around seven or. Seven. Right. So maybe DVD noticed that. Yeah. 
right? Raining bombs on his way back down and actually gets an opening in the stage. All right. Thunder is doing it. He did a great job getting down there because that's hard to get down when uh, Toon Link is sharking with up, and up airs like yep. that on platform. It's a little easier in 3.6 because up air has a bit more landing lag like, uh, than it used to. Okay. Um, so it's a little less... I mean, I don't know if y'all want to say it's free, but it's a, a, definitely you have to be, you have to hit the fastballs, the L cancels, and everything, because he has a lot less time to, to okay. get out of, uh, get stuff out of the up there. Ooh, just jumps out of that clutch jump from DVD there. I definitely expected the bomb comes there. Oh, all right. Wow. <laughs> that was like, I think DVD yeah, got a little greedy to try to go for the ledge there, because I think he drifted a little bit to the ledge. He probably could have made stage. Yeah, when you up beat that high in the blast zone, there's really not that much of a mix up. You just the drift is so bad out of special ball that DK can just punch. Oh my god, that's supposed to be huge. Okay. Platform saves him a little bit there. But Does it though? <laughs> saves him a little bit, but Thunder's picked it right back up. Yeah. He was definitely in disadvantage stage from it. Uh, save the matter. In. Wow. That's 3-1. Thunder's 2-1. 2-1? Yeah, yeah, 2-1. Uh, oh, 3-1, 3-1. Yeah. 